Greetings. Today, there is a global water crisis. It has a very deep impact. And the steps, what are the steps we can take to mitigate the situation? Our ever-growing population, climate change, and agriculture are the three main factors causing this crisis. And according to the United Nations, millions of people globally currently lack access to clean, safe water supplies. What can happen when there is no access to clean water? Disease, starvation, and even death can occur. 80% of all our disease, of all diseases that occur in developing countries are waterborne. The developing countries face the worst effects of global water crisis. And when there is no access to clean water, people resort to drinking unclean, contaminated water. And what does it do? It leads to, when you consume contaminated water, it leads to waterborne illness, diseases, such as cholera, typhoid, dysentery. And these cause severe dehydration, diarrhea, cramping, and vomiting. And these illnesses are often fatal for the vulnerable, the old, sick, and especially among small children. In addition to its effect on health, lack of clean water can also make it impossible for farmers to irrigate their fields and drinking water for their livestock. And this can lead to shortage of food supply. And when there is food supply shortage, malnutrition comes and an increased risk of starvation. And it can also lead to economic instability, which can lead to poverty, conflict, and displacement. The effects of climate change, such as droughts, melting glaciers, failing monsoons, and decreased precipitation also contribute to water scarcity and can even cause existing available water to become more polluted. Deforestation, versus the water crisis. Trees, they play a vital role in absorbing moisture from the atmosphere and eventually adding it to rivers and streams. But when forests are chopped down, precipitation often runs off the land, causing floods rather than maturing into groundwater. So what can be done? We should monitor our water use and encourage others to do the same. Repairing leaking faucets and pipes, cutting down on water usage in daily activities such as dishwashing, bathing, laundry, and also by investing in water efficient appliances are just a few examples of what we can do. We should also use water saving devices, devices low flow shower heads, faucet aerators, and dual flush toilets wherever, whenever it is possible. And we should also prevent water pollution. This means reducing our usage of pesticides and fertilizers, storing hazardous chemicals safely, and ensuring that anything we flush down the sink or toilet is biodegradable. Lastly, Preserving and restoring our natural watersheds can help ensure that freshwater resources remain plentiful for generations to come. Ultimately and unfortunately, the global water crisis is a very complicated and significant issue. Governments, communities, and individuals must work together to find and implement solutions to ensure 
that everyone has access to clean, safe, and plentiful water. And let us look at some of the strategies. We need to conserve and care for our planet's most precious resource, water. And fresh water especially is one of the Earth's most precious resource. And uh, water scarcity, insecurity, contamination, pollution, and climate change are contributors to this issue and it affects millions of people around the world. So what's the first step we can do? We can improve water storage. So by storing water, we can improve the situation. So how do we do that? By creating reliable storage reservoirs, rivers and lakes, we can help and ensure that fresh water is able to reach people, livestock and ecosystems. This will help manage water resources and also avoid ease flooding disasters. Improve water storage wherever, whenever possible. Enhance infiltration. So by enhancing infiltration, we will be able to improve water availability. We must ensure surrounding environment is healthy, unburdened by chemicals and contains permeable surfaces. And uh, by having permeable surfaces, it allows water to be absorbed better in the soil and also helps in reducing flooding issues. So, enhance infiltration. Develop smart irrigation practices. Smart irrigation is one of the best ways we can conserve water and also combat global water issues. And uh, they reduce water wasting by using soil moisture sensors and climate data to determine when and how much water to deploy. It can also help to reduce water contamination. Develop smart irrigation practices. Use wastewater and grey water responsibly. So we have to use the wastewater generated and grey water responsibly. And uh, this water coming from households and business units can be treated and put to good use for irrigation, agricultural, industrial and recreational. Appropriate treatment of wastewater and grey water is essential for keeping this water clean and safe for other issues. Educate people. Education is a key factor in reducing global water issues. People need to be educated about the importance of water, how to use it responsibly, and why water conservation is essential. This can be done through campaigns, seminars, classes, and websites. Water tariffs, regulated water tariffs can help reduce water wastage and improve water efficiency. It leads to a responsible usage of water and people tend to become more mindful of their water usage and start conserving it. Invest in water saving technologies. Investing in water saving technologies is an important part of countering the global water crisis. By introducing water saving devices subject to government regulation, we can help to reduce water wastage and encourage responsible water usage. And some of the technology examples include low flow showers, water efficient washing machines, water recycling systems. So by investing in water saving technologies, we can combat 
global water crisis. Practice sustainable water management. It is very crucial that we practice sustainable water management and uh, it involves a range of practices, protecting water sources, preventing pollution, regulating and allocating water and using efficient technologies. This helps to reduce water wastage and promote smarter water usage. Create laws and uh, regulations. Laws and regulations can help to protect water sources and conserve water by introducing laws and regulations we can ensure all water use is responsible and monitored this will ensure water is used for efficiently and not wasted and does not become polluted or damaged take additional steps to reduce climate change and the climate change poses a great threat to water sources. So we have discussed some 10 strategies. There are many more which we can use to help tackle the water crisis. So it has to be tackled globally on a war footing so as to save people. And by implementing practices such as water storage, infiltration, smart irrigation techniques, water saving technologies, we can help to conserve precious freshwater resources, protect our water resources, and ensure that everyone access to clean water. So thank you for joining me. Let us all contribute and work towards averting and managing the global water crisis. Thank you.